Wake Forest is actually very interesting at the present time because it's an integrated healthcare system, which means the clinical care and the research school of medicine are all part of the same entity. So that really allows us to be nimble and to do things in terms of research and clinical care that other academic medical centers and many other academic medical centers can't do. So I'll be a faculty member in pulmonary and critical care medicine, just like I was everywhere else I've been at UCLA, Colorado, and University of Alabama at Birmingham. Be involved in the research in the division, help with some of the basic science research, and also help facilitate the translation of research into clinical trials like I've done at other institutions. So this is a terrific division of pulmonary and critical care medicine. It's got basic science research, very strong programs in genomics, for example, strong programs in asthma. Uh, it belongs to uh, 10 NIH uh, clinical trials networks in asthma and in COPD, critical care. So it's really strong both in basic science, clinical care, and then this translational research in terms of bringing new therapies to patients with pulmonary diseases. The NIH-funded clinical trials and also the industry-sponsored clinical trials bring novel therapies to our patients. It's really important to be part of this because these diseases, for example, in critical care, acute lung injury, of which the division here at Wake Forest Baptist is part, um, critical care, acute lung injury still has a very high mortality rate. So to be able to bring new therapies that will save patients' lives is very important. Asthma is an increasing problem in this country. We need new therapies for asthma. The NIH trials and the industry-sponsored trials that are in place at Wake Forest Baptist are moving forward in terms of the way we treat these patients. They're adding to our armamentarium, adding to the kinds of therapies these patients have. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is a growing problem as well in the country. We don't have enough therapies for that problem for that disease, and so it's crucially important to be part of these clinical networks to bring new therapies to our patients.